The attractive forces that hold molecules together are called intermolecular forces. Intermolecular forces are the cause for why some molecular compounds are solid and others are gaseous and others are liquid when at room temperature. There are three types of intermolecular forces. The first type of intermolecular forces are dipole-dipole forces. Dipoles are attracted to other dipoles by electrostatic forces. Polar molecules have strong attractions to other polar molecules because the positive end of a dipole is attracted to the negative end of another dipole. This is similar to the way magnets are attracted to each other, where they have the positive end is attracted to the negative end. The second type of intermolecular force is hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen bonds are a particularly strong type of intermolecular force. In order to have a hydrogen bond, you must have on one side a hydrogen covalently bonded to a very electronegative atom, a nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine. On the other side of the hydrogen bond, there must be a lone pair of electrons on another very electronegative atom, a nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine. You must have one from each column in order for the hydrogen bond to exist. Let's show this example on water molecules. H2O. The hydrogen are covalently bonded to an electronegative atom, oxygen. And Oxygen also has an electron pair, and so one atom with an electron pair can hydrogen bond to the hydrogen of the other water molecule. We'll show it over here as well with the hydrogen covalently bonded to the oxygen and hydrogen bonding to the electron pair of the other water molecule. The third type of intermolecular force are known as London dispersion forces. This can also be called induced dipole forces because it is caused by electrons on one molecule distorting the electron cloud on another molecule to give it an induced dipole to now have a partially positive end and a partial negative end that can be attracted to other induced dipoles. All molecules are subject to London dispersion forces it is the weakest of the three forces. The larger the molecule, the stronger the London forces. Let's review with water molecules. Can you list and draw all of the intermolecular forces present between two water molecules? When water is a gas, it does not have any intermolecular forces happening to it. When water is turning to a liquid and slowing down, the molecules slow down and some forces begin to interact. When water turns into an ice cube, all of the three intermolecular forces are now acting upon it. First we have dipole, dipole interaction. Second, we 
we have hydrogen bonds. And finally, we have London dispersion forces that act upon all molecules.